So here we are in Unity 18.1. It's a basic setup, just a camera, a couple of point lights and a voice file attached to a game object. So here is a rig with all the joints and um, different mesh files. If you don't need to use the stethoscope, you can just turn it off. Here is a head mesh with uh, 51 morph targets compatible with iPhone X. It has five materials applied to it, gums, lashes, tongue, head and teeth. The head material has two textures applied to it, a diffuse texture, which is an 8K texture, and the metalness map. And that metalness map makes the uh, lips more shiny than the rest of the face. Three materials for the eyes, one for the um, outer transparent material and the other for cornea and another one for black eye piece. Hair material has got an albedo and a normal map applied to it. Four materials applied to stethoscope Two materials for the jacket, one is for the buttons, two textures applied to the jacket material, albedo and a normal map. Albedo map uh, for a t-shirt material, two texture maps for trousers, diffuse and normal map. The body material has two textures applied to it, uh, one diffuse and one uh, metalness, which makes the nails um, shinier than the rest of the body. All the materials are located in the materials folder. In models, there is a model with all the meshes included. It's an FBX file exported from Maya with uh, all the materials and textures embedded into it. In sounds, uh, there is a voice clip that's attached to a game object. This is to go with uh, talking uh, sample animations. All the textures are located in textures folder and I, uh, are labeled accordingly. So let's jump to animations. Here we have four animation controllers. The first one is talking idle loop animation. It has talking idle loop animation clip plugged into it. So let's drag the first animation controller into the character. So this is a 300 frames loop of a settle body movement. This animation clip is taken out of the um, FBX file. Just select it and um, duplicate it and then plug this into the animation controller.
another controller is talking gesture animation loop. Let's drag this onto the character. This is a 550 frames loop um, of animation. Um, it's a talking person with gestures. Another animation controller is called Facial Animation and Talking Idle Sample. It has this um, animation clip connected to it. So let's drag this onto the character and enable the sound. You are about to embark on a patient. So this is a combination of a 300 frames uh, animation loop of a settled body movement with facial animation. So you can do your own facial animation and combine this with uh, the included body animations. Um, I provide facial animation and voiceover service that could be applied to this character, so please contact me if you're interested and I can get it done for you. As you progress through the dining out simulation, you will be making each of Charles' decisions. So good luck! The fourth animation controller is called Facial Animation and Talking Gestures Sample. It has this um, animation clip plugged into it. So let's drag this onto the character. You are about to embark on a patient simulation. During so this is a combination of the body Charles animation loop that's included, African and that's 550 frames um, with gestures uh, combined with, with a facial diabetes. animation. His longtime friend Debbie has asked him to lunch, where he will need to follow dietary recommendations, paying particular attention to his carb intake. For lunch, Charles is targeting a meal with fewer than 600 calories and 30 grams of carbs. As you progress through the dining out simulation, you will be making each of Charles' decisions. So good luck! This is just to demonstrate that you can use this with uh, Unity's humanoid. Just go to Models, select the model, and then go to Inspector and select the rig. Change animation type to Humanoid. Then you're going to have to press Apply, and then it'll let you to configure. Unity will automatically assign all the bones, uh, and it does a good job, but you're going to have to reassign a few of them. Just select them and then drag them from the hierarchy into the uh, mapping. And this is just to demonstrate how uh, the mesh deforms.